Hello, science people. Today, I want to talk to you about flukes. Flukes are from the class Trematoda, from the phyla Platyhelminthes. They are flatworms. They are parasitic worms that can infect humans. And so primarily, I want to talk to you about blood flukes, the liver fluke and the lung fluke. So to understand how humans catch these parasites, we really need to understand the life cycle of trematodes. So trematodes have a complicated life cycle where they have multiple hosts. They have an intermediate host and a main host. So let's talk about this. So what happens is a main host will defecate eggs. So you have trematodes living in you. Maybe you have this parasite, so the flukes are inside you. Uh, let's specifically talk about lung flukes. You defecate the eggs, and then those eggs somehow end up in a pond or a river somewhere. So let's say that I defecate in the wild, and so the rain will then wash my feces with the eggs into a pond or river. The eggs will hatch, and they will hatch a little larvae. The fluke larvae will swim around in the pond until it finds, let's say, a snail or a crustacean, because they like both of those. They like snails and they like crabs. Uh, let's say that you're somebody who likes crayfish or crawfish, however you want to say it, depending where you're from. So let's say that you like crayfish and this trematode, this fluke, burrows into a crayfish. It goes inside its body, it eats a little bit of the crayfish, and then what will happen is it'll become a sporocyst, a dormant form, and it is waiting for you to eat it. And so you go get this crayfish and you don't cook the crayfish all the way. Maybe you eat it raw. So you eat this raw crayfish and then in your stomach acid, it awakens the sporocyst, which becomes an actual full grown fluke. The full grown fluke will burrow into your body, catching your blood veins and flowing through your blood until it gets to your lungs. Once it gets to your lungs, that's where it'll make its home. It'll be eating your lung tissue and reproducing. And so your lungs over the years start to fill with these flukes. It is filling with worms. And so these worms are chewing on your lungs and they're reproducing, laying eggs. And what they do is they lay the eggs in a place that will cause you to cough. <coughs> and you start coughing up blood, maybe microscopic amounts of blood at first. And so you cough up this blood and swallow. And what happens is then the eggs get to travel into your feces where you'll defecate releasing these eggs. And so you have the adults constantly reproducing, releasing eggs that you cough up and swallow and defecate. And then hopefully the cycle for the worm's sake repeats. So you defecate and then those larvae will then end up in a snail or they'll end up in a crustacean. So how do we avoid getting these? The answer is almost always cook your food. If you're to eat raw crustaceans, freshwater crustaceans, so if you're, if you're to eat raw crabs or you're to eat raw crayfish, then you are at risk of getting these. Now, if you live in the United States, the risk is very low because we don't have very many flukes or trematodes. But if you were to live in Asia, the risk is much higher because there are flukes living in the ponds in Asia. And so if you were to eat a raw crustacean or even to eat a raw snail, there's a chance that there could be a sporocyst living in that animal. And when you eat it, then it will awaken from its sporocyst form and travel into your blood veins where it'll travel to your, um, travel to your lungs, where it'll reproduce. And then you will then be carrying this parasite. Now the parasite could live with you for years, for your entire life. And it might take 10, 20 years before you're really coughing up visible amounts of blood where you notice it. Is, is this treatable? Can you help yourself? Yes. You can go to the doctor and then they have antibiotics that you can take that will poison them. And so it is treatable. Well, probably a horrifying thing to talk about, but I'm glad that we got to talk about flukes or trematodes. I will see you next time.